All right, David Harry here. Now I went out today with my new iPad Pro 2020 specifically to record some test footage with it for my YouTube bezzy, Mr. Ian Craig, whose channel you can get to at this link here and one in the description. Now what it is, this was meant to have just been footage that I could chop together, upload and like let Ian have a look to see what he thought of it. However, I've been so impressed with how it looks I'm just going to put it live and hopefully it might be of use to other people who are interested in such things. Now what it is, I've used the front and the back cameras here. So that's um, HD 60 on the front and 4K 60 on the rear. The HD footage is upscale for the purposes of this video because it's being mixed with 4K. So you can actually get to see how the HD camera looks upscaled as well in this video, which might be pretty useful for some people who are into this stuff. Anyways, as well, on top of that, I would just like to also give a shout out here to one of my other YouTube buddies, and that is Lensman Online. So John, that last thing that you posted for us on like the comment section for me, uh, me August um, YouTube channel update video, I hadn't responded to it. I'm sorry about that. However, hopefully this video is going to prove something to you. One is I will never stop doing microphone and camera stuff. And then when I do get bent out of shape, when I get like fixated on a certain product, like an iPad or something, and I go all mad blitzing videos on it. Um, hopefully there will be stuff when I do that that you will find interesting and I think you are going to find this interesting anyway is the video all right Ian uh, this is the tests that I said I would do for you now what I'm going to do is do two videos one's going to be at 24 frames a second the other one's going to be at 60 this one's in 60 now the other thing is I've got a lavalier on here uh, it's just it's slightly windy it's actually I don't know if it's too windy even for the lavalier but I just didn't want a chance using the internal mics here on the iPad um, just I would have thought that they would have just distorted straight away anyways yet let's see what else is there to do with this test oh yeah the microphone um, I think it's probably still slightly over modulated it's far too sensitive on the microphone input on the iPad um, I've tried a few other things on it and they're all just posing to be too loud so what I'm going to do here is try and keep myself down to a sensible level and not over modulate the microphone plus also there's a ton of people in the park today as well and uh, yeah watching some big mouth lad person <laughs> loud person walking around the park talking to his tablet is probably going to freak all the kids out <laughs> anyway so this is the front camera at um, 60 frames per second so what i'm going to do now is flip onto the rear camera and that goes to 64k okay so this is now the rear camera and this is 4k 60. now the previous take or anything that i do with the front camera although i think that records in hd the video is going to be in 4k so i will have upscaled any of the hd stuff so it's all 4k coming out but obviously originates in hd so this is the rear camera and i'm not entirely sure which one gets used here i mean to be honest i haven't even read the specs <laughs> for the camera system because this is obviously my first test which i said i'd do for you <laughs> and you know what it's it, oh you know i find it really difficult <laughs> not to just kind of like get into something here and start being loud <laughs> but i can't there's a bunch of kids here and stuff now um and also yeah i'll only whack out the microphone what it is, I think it's convenient being able to plug the lav direct in through a couple of cables and stuff. It's mega easy and like super convenient. Um, but for people with loud voices like me, they're going to over modulate it really quickly. Now, the other thing here on the back cameras is I'm not entirely sure if I'm in focus. I don't know whether you have to touch to focus or whether it'll kind of auto pick up if there's faces and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I will test some stuff in a second because I'm going to go somewhere else and then like test like both of the cameras doing like close-ups and wides and stuff in the park. Okay, so this should give us enough here on the rear camera in 4K 60. So a quick front camera HD 60 walking and stuff. So I've got the sun directly behind me here. Now I'm about to go into some shade, see what happens. I'm going to have to be there carefully. There's a couple of little steps. Just gives a sec. I'll shut my trap while I do this. Hold on. <laughs> Imagine that, phoning you up late and going in, you never guess what I went out to do a test and smashed up my iPad. <laughs> right, why, what were you doing with it? Oh, I was vlogging, because <laughs> that is not what everyone does with an iPad. <laughs> okay, so I'm going into shade now. 
this should give us an idea uh, pitch actually looks really decent although i think my skin tones are a bit orange and stuff and you know in the real world i'm just simply not orange okay so let me uh, flip on to the different resolutions for this and do something else with the takes rear cameras again so this is 4k 60 walking and stuff right now i'm in some shade i'll just carry on talking until i come out the shade hopefully my headphone cable's not smacking the microphone all over the place right okay it's a little bit windy as well just get an idea of what that's like the only thing is here i'm not too sure what elevation i should have these cameras uh, to be honest though you know these are the kind of things that it takes like literally one or two goes and then you've got it and you most certainly don't need uh, to see yourself when you're vlogging either as long as you're familiar with the camera you're using you know but why am i explaining that to you Ian? you know you already know all this <laughs> right so bit of sun now hold on a sec oops dodgy stairs again Oof, smash <laughs> Right, there we go. So full blown sun there. So we'll get an idea of what that's like. And then I'll do a little bit of a turn here in and out of the sun as I'm vlogging. Okay. All right. I think that should do. For that take, let me have a quick think of another take to do. Okay, so a bit of a close up here of these raspberries. So yeah, they actually look oh I want to eat them. <laughs> um, I've gone I've got hungry all of a sudden. What's that about? Right, it's gone quite breezy there, and this is probably getting wiped out a little bit, but this after all is a picture test. Now let's see if I can get in closer. Right, that's definitely macro. I'm gonna try and that that red one to the left, that's what I've touched to focus on. So let's see how it's handling that. And can I get any closer? I doubt it. When I can get closer, I don't know if the focus can. Okay. But I'm touching to focus there, the raspberry to the left, the red one. And then just behind it in the background, that looks maybe similar focus. I don't know. Now, what I'm going to do is pan up here to the back. I think once you go into touch to focus, I think it stays there. Now, I'm going to touch for the back. Okay. That transition on the focus looks really nice as well when you start doing touch to focus. Yeah, you know, just quickly, I'm going to come into these flowers here touch the focus wow yeah that's very impressive okay let me think of something else this tilt pan thing again pointing straight into the sun and then bringing it down opposite it into the park um what it is i've just done this for the 24p version it's going to be interesting to see how this handles i mean on the screen here in it it actually looks quite tremendous i mean you know you've got to take these things into context but for what it is and of course the sun was in my face as well like so i couldn't really see the exposure properly on the screen but to be honest mate that didn't look too bad at all okay so a slow pan as it were i say slow slowish um, i'll try and concentrate as best as i can here in this oh look at this i you know what i can't even turn around straight okay so that's a relatively slowish pan sort of give us an idea of that then i'll go back again and I'll be a bit quicker, so let me come around there. I mean, this being 60 should help this temporarily. There we go. And what I'll do, let me just get over here a bit. And uh, I'll just kind of give one last point into the this top field in the park here. Okay, so that's just me pointing into the distance and letting it do its own thing. Actually, one quick last test here. Right, what it is, I'm just walking back home now to start editing. And where I am now, I'm in like proper shade here underneath these trees. And I can't really tell how much this is having to gain on the screen. It, it, I mean, it will be doing a lot of gain in this. But honestly, Ian, this is like really, really very shaded. I mean, a GoPro would have serious problems under here, let's put it that way. And I know that because I have used the GoPro in this park a lot and I know exactly what happens every time I walk through here. In fact, when I walk through here with the GoPro, it goes all very blocky on the final encode on YouTube. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, how blocky this is or it isn't. All right, buddy, now, yeah, this is defo the last day. All right, so a little summary at the end here. I think the footage looks great. Now, bear in mind, it is all just very rough footage, really, because it was genuinely a test that I'd went out and done, which, like, was the first thing I'd ever done. So, literally, I'd picked it up, and it was, they were the first things that I shot with it. And considering that there was no preparation for it, I wasn't kind of specifically trying to do anything with it. 
I'm absolutely blown away with what I've come back with. It's immense. Anyways, what it is, I'm going to be building up a playlist of like tons of iPad stuff in by the looks of it now, because there's things to do with microphones, other stuff to do with filming as well, because I'm going to get some adapters for it so I can put it on a tripod and try other things out with it. I'll do stuff indoors with it. Then, of course, there's all the game stuff that I'm doing with it as well and all these weirdo things that I'll try with it. So if you're into that type of stuff, keep an eye on my channel or check out the playlist that I've got and the playlist will be in the description here so you can go and watch all the stuff as I start accumulating videos to do with the iPad Pro 2020 also as well as I do this if I find bits and pieces like cases cables and stuff like that which are going to be useful for it they will also go into my descriptions as well so there'll always be like Amazon links in there to various things you know that I've got like coming up or things that I've already tried with it as a for instance this case I've not done the video yet but I'm doing a video for this case because it's awesome anyways i think yeah that's it short and sweet at the end here for this one so if you've liked the video please give it a massive thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and also get all over that bell notification icon do not think like there's no tomorrow and i'm not entirely sure how useful it is but just click it anyway all right i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now